brand recognition, revenue, and people sharing your content. If that sounds like something you're after, you're probably looking to launch a website. Lucky for you, doing that is fast and easy with WordPress. So welcome to Hostinger Academy, and let's learn how to make a website together. Before we start, let's take a look at the benefits of having a site. First, a website will help you increase your reach. This will boost your brand awareness and let people discover you much easier. Plus, you'll be able to monetize your website. You'll get access to more revenue streams, whether by advertising or selling products, digital or physical. So how do we get there? Well, we'll cover the entire process of creating your own website in the upcoming sections. First, we'll purchase a hosting plan and the domain name. Then we'll help you set up WordPress content management system, customize your website, install plugins, and add content. And finally, we'll finish up with the best search engine optimization practices for your website and help you get everything live. So let's begin. As you may know, a website needs both a place to store its files and an address for people to find it. And for all of that, we'll need web hosting and a domain name. With those two secured, you'll have everything needed to get your website online. Now, picking the right service provider is an important choice. Ideally, it should make website creation, launch, and management easy and provide you with all the necessary tools. And so, we made sure our own managed WordPress hosting ticks all of those boxes. Not only will you set up WordPress in one click, but you'll also receive automatic updates and plenty of storage, letting you focus on scaling performance optimization, daily backups, and unlimited SSL certificates are also included. Best of all, if you buy a plan for one year or longer, we'll throw in a domain name for free. To get started, click the link right here and choose a plan. Add it to the cart, fill in the payment details, and that's it. <laughs> but wait, there's more. You'll get the most value from our Business Managed WordPress hosting plan for 48 months. Oh, and don't forget to enter the discount code WP10 for a further 10% off. Now that we have our hosting all set up, let's get WordPress on our website. There are a couple of ways to install WordPress. In this section, we'll cover the easiest, doing it with HPanel after getting Hostinger's managed WordPress hosting. Here's how to do it. First, log in to HPanel. You'll be able to do this right after purchasing the plan. Then go to Websites and choose Add Website. Next, select WordPress from the drop-down menu. Now choose your language and fill in the fields with login details for your new WordPress account. You'll need them when accessing the site, so note them down. Click Next. Then pick the type of website you want to build. We're picking blog for this demonstration. The next page will let you choose between pre-built templates and standard themes. Choose the templates if you want to launch your website quickly. If you pick standard themes, you'll have to create more pages from scratch. Whatever you choose, go through the available website templates and themes. Hover over each template and click Preview to see what your website would look like. Pick what you like the most. For the purposes of this demonstration, we'll go with Astra, a standard theme. The following screen will ask you about plugins. That's the neat part about WordPress. Plugins let you get all sorts of features you'd want for your website. If you're unsure which plugins to choose, either pick the recommended ones or skip this step. We'll be covering plugin installation later in the video. Now, the next step is important if you bought a business managed WordPress hosting plan. We've integrated AI into the WordPress onboarding flow to make it even easier for you. Type in your brand name and provide additional details. Our AI tools will then fill the site with content based on this information. Click Continue once you're ready to proceed. Now comes the fun part, naming your website and giving it an online address. You can claim your free domain name now or do it later. Enter your desired web address into the box and check its availability. If the domain name is available, click Next. If it isn't, well, that means that someone got there before you. So you'll need to choose a different domain name. During the next few steps, just fill in the fields with the required information to complete the domain name registration. Finally, wait while WordPress is installed. Once that's done, you'll be greeted by the website dashboard. There's a lot of information here, but don't be discouraged. It will all make sense as we continue and you become more comfortable with managing your website. For now, just click Admin Panel to access your website and start customizing it. Look at that, you already got a functional website, and it's accessible online too. Having said that, if you're not ready for people to drop by yet, go from settings to reading in the dashboard to check the search engine visibility option. After you hit save changes, the website won't appear in search engine results, but it will remain accessible by entering the domain name into the browser. 
will be returning here to uncheck the box when it's time for your website to be discovered. Now, let's go over some basic customization options to get you familiar with WordPress. The first on the list are themes. If you're unsure about the theme you chose for the website during onboarding, now is the best time to change it. You can do it later too, but you'll have to be more careful to ensure your WordPress website still works as intended. That said, changing the theme is simple. Just hover over Appearance and select Themes from your admin dashboard. You'll see the Add New Theme button at the top of the page. Click that. You'll see a bunch of themes here, so use the search bar and don't forget to narrow the results down by applying a feature filter or two. If you see something you like, simply hover over the theme and select Details and Preview to get a sneak peek of its design. Then just click Install and once that's done, click Activate to start using it. If you want to, you can also customize a theme. From your admin dashboard, choose Appearance and then Customize. Keep in mind that the way the options are laid out will differ depending on the theme. First, let's change the website's color palette. Since previously we chose Astra as our theme, we'll be clicking on Global and then Colors. A theme may have global palettes available. Choose one and you'll see how it looks on the right. Play around with the color bubbles to find the palette that's right for you. If we take a step back and choose typography, we'll be able to adjust global font styles. Again, you may find some preset options. Click on one to preview it. For more in-depth customization, scroll down. Here you will be able to choose the fonts for different elements like headings, subheadings, and body text. If we choose container from the global submenu, we'll be able to tweak the website's layout. Adjust the settings and see how they look in action in the preview panel. Don't be afraid to experiment until you find the layout that you like best. Finally, let's take a look at Ostra's header and footer builders. The header is the visual strip or menu that runs across the top of a website, while the footer is at the bottom. Take your time looking through and adjusting the options available for your theme. By default, Ostra comes with a transparent header. You can go within the submenus to add a different logo, change header, styles, implement a tagline, and more. If you're all done, simply click on Publish to save the changes. Next up, you'll definitely want to add some pages to your website. Luckily, doing so is pretty easy. First, let's take a look at how to do it with Hostinger's AI Assistant, also known as the AI Content Creator. Hover over Hostinger and choose AI Content Creator from the Admin Dashboard, then click the AI Content Creator tab. For content type, choose Pages, then select the appropriate tone of voice and content length. Next, describe the page, including as many relevant details as possible. Finally, add in any keywords you want the AI system to hit and click Generate Content. Now, just wait until the page is generated and check it out when it's done. We recommend hitting Edit as a draft before publishing even if you're happy with what the AI assistant has written. That's because you'll need to ensure your page has the correct URL before publishing it. You'll find a URL option on the right. If you want to make changes, all you need to do is just click on it. Once you're done with the proofing, hit publish at the top of the page and it will go live. If you missed something, it's not a big deal. You can edit pages and posts after publishing as well. Adding pages manually isn't difficult either. From the admin dashboard, hover over Pages and click Add New Page. When the editor opens up, write the page title and the body text. To add WordPress widgets or elements, click on the plus button at the top left of the page and drag and drop your selection to the editor. You can customize each block using the toolbar and right sidebar. If you want to include images, use the image block. It's as simple as uploading an image from your computer or a link using the respective buttons. Don't have a visual in hand? No worries. You can look for one straight from the editor. Click the plus icon, choose the Media tab, and hit Open Verse. Now, type in what you're looking for in the search bar and click on the picture you want. It will get added straight to your post just like that. And you don't have to worry about copyright either. All Open Verse images are free to use and distribute. You can also add a representative featured image for the page via the page settings on the right sidebar. Once you're done, preview the page by clicking on the little screen icon at the top of the page. If you're happy with what you see, hit publish. Whether you use the AI assistant or added the pages manually, repeat the process for all of the pages you need. We recommend starting with the about, contact, and blog pages. The next item on our list is creating a custom navigation menu. 
It's an essential part of any website that will make the lives of your visitors much easier. Here's how to do it. Return to the admin dashboard, hover over appearance and click on menus. If you use the AI assistant during onboarding, you already have a navigation menu. If that's the case, check all the pages, posts and categories the menu should have and click add to menu. To create a new menu, write down the menu name and click create menu. Adding menu elements is the same as before. Check what you want to appear on it and hit add to menu. If you want to reorder the items, drag and drop them in the menu structure section. You can also add submenus. Do that by placing a menu item under another one. Then just click save menu when everything's done and that's it. Now that we know how to customize our site, let's talk about plugins. Without them, WordPress wouldn't be nearly as popular as it is. By installing the right plugins, you can give your website any features you can imagine. Some plugins will be free, some will be premium, and the rest will be a mix of both. Usually, a premium version of a plugin will come with more features than its free counterpart, so consider your needs before choosing. You may find a lot of useful plugins and want to install them all, however, that's generally not a great idea. That's because the number of plugins your website can handle depends on what each plugin does in your hosting plan. A lot of plugins can seriously slow down your site. Also bear in mind that each plugin is a potential security risk if it's not regularly updated. You can prevent this by turning on automatic WordPress updates. Go back to HPanel, click Websites and choose Manage next to your site. On the left, scroll down to WordPress, click Security and toggle Enable Automatic Updates on. With that covered, let's get back to plugins. If you have chosen the recommended option during onboarding, you'll be equipped with a selection of marketing analytics, SEO, and form creation tools. You'll also have Lightspeed Cache installed, which is great for website speed optimization. Your choice of plugins should depend on what you want your website to do. If you're planning to launch an online store, take a look at WooCommerce. Planning to run a membership website? MemberPress is the plugin for the job, unless you want a free alternative like Ultimate Member. Then there are plugins with more niche applications. For example, you could set up WordFence to improve the security of your WordPress website. If you want to have an easier time optimizing your site for search engines, install Yoast SEO or All-in-One SEO, which might already be installed if you've chosen to use our recommended plugins. Now, let's go over the plugin installation process. From the Your Admin Dashboard, navigate to Plugins and click on Add New Plugin. Then search for your desired plugin using the search bar and hit Install Now. Once the process is done, click Activate and you're done. Alternatively, you can manually upload a zip file containing a plugin by clicking Upload Plugin. Just hit Choose File and Upload the Archive. Once again, install it and activate it. That said, remember to install plugins from trusted sources only if you use this method. With your website customized and plugins set up, let's talk about attracting visitors. Your website's success will depend on how many people visit, and you can encourage them to do so by providing quality content. If your website is engaging to interact with, you'll get more traffic as a result. In addition, other website owners tend to link to good content. If your website gets linked to, your posts will also rank higher on search engines. If you need inspiration for your content, head on over to Google Trends. You can use this tool to examine and compare search volumes for specific keywords. Notice a popular search phrase? Make a note to include it in your own content so search engines pick it up. To add a new post, hover over Posts from the Admin Dashboard and hit Add New Post. The editor that opens up is the same one we used when creating pages. Now just write the title for your post and use the plus icon to add blocks for the content type you want to feature. Or you could use Hostinger's AI content creator to write the posts for you. Remember how to access it? The process is the same as when creating a page, except you'll be choosing posts as the content type. Write the description, add keywords, and edit the draft once the content has been generated. By the way, you can also add the AI content creator block to a post while editing it. Just fill in the prompt and click Generate Content. Now just assign one or more categories and tags using the page settings on the right sidebar of the editor. Use categories to cover general topics and assign tags that are specific to each post. Then adjust the visibility and publish settings if you want to limit access to the post. Keep it private or schedule when it should go live. Finally, before you're done with the post, scroll down to the bottom of the editor. If you got an SEO plugin set up, you'll find its options right here. 
don't leave them blanks. Adjust the post title or meta title to give your post a snappy headline on search engines. Write a meta description as well. It's the bit of text letting search engine users know what to expect when clicking on a result. Once you're done with the post, hit publish and congratulations, your first piece of content is now live. Search engine optimization doesn't just stop there though. So let's talk about it some more. First, keep your SEO plugin handy. Make sure to add meta descriptions and titles to each page and post. Also include the focus key phrase. If you do, the SEO plugin will provide you with some tips on how to achieve better rankings on search engines. For example, it may suggest you to include the key phrase in the title or the URL. Another important factor for good SEO is website speed. Try to minimize the time your site takes to load. The Lightspeed Cache plugin that comes bundled with Hostinger's managed WordPress hosting will help you with that. Finally, take a moment to appreciate the importance of backlinks. The more other websites link to your content, the more impact it will have on your search engine optimization. So reach out to other website owners and ask them about backlinking opportunities. This is just scratching the surface. For more SEO tips, check out our video dedicated to this topic. Now it's time for a final review of your website. Hover over your website's name on the top left corner of the main WordPress screen and click Visit Site. Once the site loads, make sure all links, images, forms, and features work properly. And be thorough, your user experience is at stake. For a final check, go back to the admin dashboard, hover over Hostinger, and click Get Started. This website initiation wizard contains a setup checklist. If there is an incomplete step, expand it and click Take Me There. Then make your adjustments. If everything looks good, go back to the admin dashboard, hover over settings and choose reading. Then uncheck the search engine visibility option we ticked earlier to make your website visible on search results pages. And that's it. Your website is accessible, fully functional and live. If you got a social media presence, make sure to share the domain name with your audience. All that's left is to spread the word about your website and enjoy its growing traffic. Pat yourself on the back. You are now a proud owner of a new WordPress website. Make sure to stay active, post engaging content, and keep improving your SEO to maximize your chances of success. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful videos like this coming your way in the future.